All right, uh, Green Family, Bomani Tamba here, your tour organizer and tour leader. Thank everybody for the dedication and committed commitment to, to join this journey. This is one of those special journeys where we only want the right people on the journey so we can all connect good and strong as a people. I just want to give you a quick background about myself. I was born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica, October 31st, 1977. Currently 41 years old. I lived in Jamaica from 1977 to 1988. I left at the sixth grade, um, and once I get to New York, I just went back in the sixth grade, and that was then once I, uh, I just did six years of school there, uh, but the main highlight there as far as my education, went to a technical school called Transit Technology, and uh, that really sparked the energy of my technology energy. Connected, uh, I learned electrical and electronic systems, which has been my background all my life. Uh, whether it's on airplanes or whether it's on computer systems and so on. So that uh, connection, uh, being in the Navy, built a nice foundation, also taught me a lot about logistics and operations and talk about execution and getting things done versus doing a lot of talking. And I did a, did a short time in the Navy, four and a half years. I got my uh, certification, which is a FAA aircraft maintenance uh, technician. And I was able to get a job with a Delta airline company and build my skills a little higher. But uh, once I got to the job, and I thought it was like one of the, the dream job foundation, I didn't know anything about racism. I didn't, didn't know anything about the evil, wicked, white devils. Uh, and I'm just, just being real, and I know sometimes it's funny. But uh, working around these, these white rednecks in Georgia, uh, just really just, it just opened my eyes up. And I'm thankful for my brothers that were there on the job that started, that was reading the conscious books. You know, once you get an attack, you have to find some cover. So I connected with the brothers and started to learn about my roots and culture and kind of build confidence to realize that, that you, know, you spend all this time learning, getting all your education, getting all these things, and then to get to a job where you just you just deal with this crazy stuff. You deal with black people laughing at white people jokes about racism and this the derogatory uh, uh, situations. So that was like my wake up call, you know, and I was like, so that's what brought me on into uh, entrepreneurship because I don't feel like it's right that you spend all that time working, studying, trying to build a career and then you're around the worst set of people that you can ever be around. And that's why I'm so happy and thankful for being around all you beautiful brothers and sisters. And this, is, you know, this has become my life in the world I've created to protect myself away from these evil, wicked white devils and evil, wicked black devils because you have some of us that are the worst set of people. And you know, so I just feel like being around the best set of people is the best thing. So that really built my energy from to where I'm at. So working for the airlines, you have a chance also to travel. So in 2004, uh, I was able to travel to Senegal and Egypt. And that's based on my studying in 2003. And also talking about 2003. Uh, I came to land in 2001. Uh, that was just right before September 11th. And it was one of those situations also because I saw a lot of my uh, friends and people I know who, who, who had great opportunities to get a job but once they got to the job they lost the job because the airline started cutting back and you know it is uh, we're the first last to get hired and first to get rid of so all those things just kind of just built the energy and, and once I landed in uh, Senegal it, it just opened my eyes that that was March 2004 and I was like I went with a few of my co-workers and I was like, and they didn't take it as serious as that, but I was like, I gotta let my brothers and sisters know we've been hoodwinked. Yeah, so, uh, just going to Senegal and going to the dungeons, I swear I'm not lying, you had this nightmares. It was like you couldn't sleep, all you thought, all the stuff, you, the things that you're gonna see, hear about in the, in the Holocaust dungeons, those are things that they have the same presentation in Senegal, except it's a little more rougher in the Elmina and Cape Coast. But uh, it literally just opened my eyes up to where it started building a clarity of, you know, what, you know, of, you know, of a, a vision of what I can do to really connect with the rest of my brothers and sisters. So uh, in that situation, I had more opportunities to travel again. In 2005, I went to South Africa, Kenya, and also went back to uh, Senegal. And that built up some more energy for the 2006 when I went to the Gambia, which is the fifth country. And then I uh, got the opportunity in December 2006 to come to Ghana and I convinced a few of my uh, co-workers and friends to join me in that journey and let me use them as a test subject. So 2006, December, it was our first journey after starting the business, Africa for the Africans, in October 2006. 
So there's eight of us, and then the following year, October of 2007, we had a big group. It was, it was my first time working with Sun Seekers, and it was 42 of us. So that's how much inspiration I got from going to Ghana the first time. And uh, from there, we just started doing annual October tours all the way up to October 2016. And then starting from last year, starting from 2017 and 2018, started doing two tours a year every May and December. But family, over the years, everything has uh, gone to the point where we've been able to build a real professional operation to introduce and connect you at the highest level. And you know, look out for us at the same time too. I always tell people that it's not enough to just take our brothers and sisters to the African continent, show them a good time, cry at the Holocaust dungeons and come back, and then just uh, faithfully give ourselves back to the American uh, system. Uh, so we have built a program to where we're offering more connections to uh, investments, and the biggest thing we got right now is uh, making an incredible community called Garvey Town Work. And the base of that is because it's, it's a lot of land and it's all legally clear and we have some good people that's gonna put their mind and energy together. So for me, the end goal of this is to put ourselves in an environment where we can connect together, work together, and be about ourselves, and don't have to deal with some of the unfortunate stuff. Uh, one thing I will say about America is that like, most of the stuff that goes on in America has nothing to do with us. It's just our distraction. You, have, uh, you, know, you may have a three million women's march against Trump, you know, it's, you know, something that's not again, and, and all kinds of stuff that goes on in America, we, tend to just be caught off guard or distracted by it, but it really kills our flow and our dedication to what we really need to do. And which we know is it's always a setup from the system. So building the energy of consciousness of Africa for the Africans over the years, looking to do more to where we could be more solution oriented and solve the problems of our society. It's a lot for you know for us to take on because no one really like laid out a game plan um, and you know, inspiration from Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X is always one of those wonderful things because uh, you have a lot of our people in the past that have laid a foundation. So we just keep on laying the foundation and building. And this is where we are right now. So uh, this is my 16th time to Ghana and we've taken almost over 400 people to Ghana. And I'm looking in the future to where more of us are gonna be connected to living and doing business here. And once we have a build, we build a good union here, we'll be able to commit more as a union to get citizenship and be able to be respected as a people. So I really feel like we have found a home in Ghana and it's based on that dedication and connection. And more important, based on all the brothers and sisters that have committed to journey with us. And I thank everybody for choosing to roll with us versus the competition, whoever that may be. Um, you know, most of the time what we do is try to get other people to set their game up. That's why we do a lot of different things. So family, once again, this is Bomani Tamba. I really appreciate everybody's energy and I look forward to getting to know everybody a little bit more and for us working together as a family and building a future for our children and the future of our world.